All right, guys. Filming the YouTube today. We're also doing a new segment. We're gonna do Workout Wednesdays. So every Wednesday, from here on out, we're gonna release a workout, full workout. We're not gonna edit the video at all. You guys get to see everything we do. I'm gonna talk about my plan going into it. And then obviously after, I will talk about if I executed that plan and what I think about the workout. And I'll be logging on down the whiteboard. You guys can go into there, log your score. We'll be picking winners every week, getting anywhere between Nobel Prize, personal prize from me, rain, go wad, podium. Kind of have some fun with it, but it's really fun. Build that community. I love training. I love talking about the workout. So this segment hopefully kind of embodies that. But today we got a old Rogue chipper. I mean, we're a couple weeks out now from Rogue. So kind of testing some of the workouts that would probably be a little bit challenging for me um, in the past. So. I obviously wasn't there in 2019, but we're doing the 2019 Rogue Chipper. It is 100 cal row, we'll have it up right here. 80 wall balls, 60 GHDs, 40 box jump all the way overs, and then 96 foot double kettlebell overhead walking lunge. So, should be a good one. I mean, it's a big chipper. I think people were finishing it like, that like 12-ish minute range. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't had to go back and look, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna hit it with everything we got today. I mean, starts out with 100 cal row, uh, straight into wall balls, which is probably gonna get very real. I mean, you wanna push that row pace, there's definitely time to be made up there, and when you get to the wall balls, I mean, the goal is hopefully to do it unbroken. I might end up breaking it up into two sets, but right after the wall balls, I mean, for me at least, the workout kind of gets more in my wheelhouse. We start out with 60 GHDs, into 40 box jump overs into the lunge. And I think that's what, for me, in a competition is where I'd really try to push and uh, make my move and just make sure I'm not falling apart by the time I get to the 60 GHDs because that's a real big strength for me. So in my mind, I can push that row decently hard and just try to hold on for those wall balls. If I happen to break it, just super short break, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna just go unbroken to go unbroken. Um, but I definitely want to push it there. And even if I finish the wall balls and I'm a little bit more tired than I necessarily want to be, it's okay because I'm going into one of my better movements that I have of 60 GHDs where hopefully, even if I'm slow on those, I'll still be fast compared to the field. Um, and kind of can catch my breath there. Going into those 40 box jumps, I mean, they're a super slow moving movement. So those are just going to be about just kind of trying to stay consistent and not taking breaks. I mean, they're gonna be hard no matter what, so just make sure you're not taking breaks for no reason, just kind of stay moving. I think that's how you make up ground on those box jumps. And we're gonna finish it with double kettlebell overhead walking lunge. I mean, I like overhead <laughs> kettlebell walking lunge, so obviously here too is another movement that I know I can push myself on because I'm really confident about the next movement. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm selling out on there and just gonna trust my fitness getting into those lunges. But after each workout of these segments, we're gonna start a five minute timer from the time I finish the workout and I'm gonna have five minutes to debrief the workout. So if I'm really messed up, maybe four minutes of that are gonna be me trying to catch my breath. But uh, I'll try to give you guys a quick recap and hopefully you guys enjoy it. But let me know if you guys like the segment. We're gonna be doing it from here on out. I'm super pumped about it and hopefully you guys like to see me train. And all my competitors out there, watch and learn. Three, two, one, go.
Yeah, that was nasty. Man, that yeah, was really good. I mean, still getting used a little bit to that uh, bro grower. Kinda dropped my pace in the last like 40 cows. Just was uh, feeling a little more blown up than I thought at the pace that I could hold, but good to see training fatigue. I ended up breaking the wall balls in the two sets, but uh, after that was just like pretty good. I mean, moving through the JC's fine. Me and my pace on the box jump overs were really similar throughout the whole time. And then uh, one of the lunges was able to go down and back. I had a break at the end, but like it was smart. I think I would have uh, started taking really long pauses on the way back, but uh, yeah. That was a really good workout to do. Been doing a lot of like intervals, a lot of stuff, but not a lot of Metcons lately. So to kind of try to put it all together and work out was really good. Really curious to go back and see what good times were. I think I was like, maybe like right sub 12.30, which I was happy about. I know there's definitely room to be made up in that workout, but I really liked it, especially for me. I mean, starting out with the Metcon with things that are more so like weakness movements for me. Just uh, try not to like look at it in that light and push hard and kind of just see what happens. So did that. Good start to the week of training. But yeah, that's the end of workout Wednesdays. What was my time? I feel like I'm sub five minutes now. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have gone hard enough. No, I'm gonna take you two minutes to the brief. I don't got any more for you guys. You can watch Scott do it if you want. Good job, Scott. Good job, Justin. <laughs> you only oh. one dumbbell. Yeah. Here goes Turner. Hi, girl, Turner. I'm not that far in front. She did a different workout. She did that workout. She put a freaking beat down on it. <clears throat> But yeah, you guys will see the rest of the day of training now. Yeah. So long workout Wednesdayers.